Hey everyone, Midway Bible Camp. Hope you're having a great summer. Kind of chilly and rainy around here. I got my, one of my old Midway Bible Camp shirts on. Uh, right now I'm on the uh, ferry here in York Landing. I'll switch this around and, and show it to you. And uh, then I'll, I'll share a couple books that uh, uh, I made and my, some of my kids. And, uh, and I'll read you a Bible story as well. It's uh, great to be able to share in this way. So, there's the, one of the big engines. You can look up there and see the lifeboat. And out in Tatasquak in Split Lake. Coming across. Another one of the engines. Just about to pull into uh, Split in a little bit. So, we'll see if, how long I get on this video. But uh, here I wanted to show you a few things. So this is a book that uh, I made with, I made for my kids. It says all about butterflies. And I cut it in the shape of a butterfly and I, I said by Papa Morgan. So let's take a look at this one. And I, I wanted to show you this because I thought maybe you could make a book that would encourage people to follow Jesus or tell something about your life. Here it says, on one of the days during creation week, God made butterflies. You could color your book, or it's just amazing to think of all the things God's made. We don't know if God first made butterflies as eggs, caterpillars, or chrysalis, that's like the cocoon, or flying ones. Oh, my books are crashing. The first days of a butterfly's life it cannot move much at all. That is because it is an egg. When the egg hatches, the butterfly is a tiny caterpillar. It gets bigger and bigger. You can see I drew a little tiny caterpillar growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Turn the page here. There you go. When the caterpillar is old enough, it climbs and spins a cocoon called a chrysalis. You can see, I made like a trail. Yeah, and there it's spinning a chrysalis using the silk that it produces. Amazing thing God created. While inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar's body turns to a special mush. God designed these butterfly caterpillars to kind of be born again. You see, they they were in an egg and then they form into a caterpillar and then they go back into almost like an egg, hey? And their body actually liquefies. God designed these butterflies to totally transform. He designed every part of it. And that can't happen by accident. All the pieces and information for the adult butterfly were already inside the caterpillar, in their DNA. It just had to obey and let its creator remake it. Then one day, at just the right time, the adult butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis. It starts breaking out. The butterfly is ready to fly. God made a lot of beautiful variety in the butterfly kind. So that's just a little idea of something you could do at home. You could make a, a book that encourages people to follow God. And uh, and also talks about, in this case, the butterfly. It's kind of an example of how we should live too. We need to be born again. We need our creator. Our creator to remake us, right? Reform us. You know, when we get kind of broken down with life and when there's sin around us, we kind of like we're stuck on the ground and they, it just life's not the way it should be and we're not the way we should be. Well, if we let God remake us, we can become born again where we can totally change, our attitude changes, uh, and we can fly in that sense. Not like really with wings, but you know, our spirit can fly, our heart can fly, because we, we can learn the secret of contentment in every situation, knowing that God works all things together for the good of those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. And, uh, and God has paid for all our sins. He's covered them up so we can become the people that God's made us to be. And here's another example of a book that you could make. This one is Enoch's bird book. That's Enoch, one of my sons. And he liked drawing birds, so I helped him to 
write this book and he made all the illustrations. So you can see here is a bluebird and it just talks about where it likes to live. You can read that if you'd like. You can pause the video if you want. It the voice it has it says turtley turtley. Oh look, it's mid lake. We're just coming into port here into the ferry landing. Coming from York Landing. Go ahead, joystick to Tatasquak. Redhead woodpecker. It says Kur queer crook queer crook queer crook. Here's a herring gull, a kind of seagull or kiosk. And uh, it says ka -ka 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 -ka, or yuk 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 yuk. We have these guys around here and some uh, ring billed gull with instead of a red spot on its bill like a herring gull, the ring billed gull has a black ring around it. Here's a quail. It says Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. You can see a bit about where it is. Oh, they're just turning around here in Split Lake. You can see Split Lake water plant there and Strangely, um, this next picture in the book here, to show you the uh, ferry landing here before I go back down. Oh, one of the ferry workers. There's the ferry landing. This next one, turkey vulture, we've seen one in York Landing. Normally they're farther south in Manitoba, but this one kind of just says, <laughs> kind of hisses and grunts. Turkey vulture. Blue jay, also a bird from farther south in Manitoba. They say, J, 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 J. And uh, here we have uh, the gray jay or the whiskey jack around. That's like this guy's cousin. And there's your yellow warblers. We've got those all around up here. And they say, sweet, sweet, sweet. So there we are. Some books, some ideas. I hope that you're encouraged to follow God. And uh, maybe make some neat books this summer. If it's rainy or you want to stay inside for a bit one time. There it says the... MV Joe Keeper. I just thought I'd make this short video here, check out these books, and encourage you to follow God. Uh, God loves you, and you are special. You are important. Just like each one of those birds has a special call, God has made each person to be unique and different, and, and that's a wonderful thing. God has made each person uh, in a special way to do good things, and only you are able to do the good things you were designed to do. Um, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, that we, all of us, it says, you are God's workmanship. Uh, you're, you're God's creation, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared beforehand that you should walk in them. That means that God's made us like a masterpiece, like a beautiful piece of art. Uh, and he designed us ahead of time, before we were even born. He knew the good things he wanted us to do. So if we walk in those good things, then we're able to be the people that God our Creator has made us to be. I hope this encourages you in that. Remember that God loves us and He is full of grace, which is gifts we don't earn, and mercy, which is where He forgives us. So He is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins, all our mistakes, and purify us, to clean us from all the bad things we've done, all unrighteousness, if we just come to Him and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So uh, do that, and I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos on Midway Bible Camp. Uh up mitten. Hey, go say. You can hear it. You can see it.
if you can hear me, but there's a big Oni River Falls by the bridge. It's crazy. It reminds me of one of the ways God's voice was described in the Old Testament, like rushing waters. The water is just going like crazy. The amount of power in this river is amazing. And it's amazing to think that the creator of the universe, the God of heaven and earth, made this river and every other river in the world. He can hold the sun and all the stars and the moon in his hands. He made everything is so powerful and yet he also loves you and me and he wants to hear from us. Thought I'd stop here at this uh, bridge just to let you see what it's like. That river is, whoa, it's as flooded as I've ever seen it. I'll show you uh, the bridge there. It's almost to the, well, it's right to the bottom of the bridge. Look at that, guys. It's right to the base of that bridge. Hopefully she holds.